Uh, to open it, you are like, or oh, like, whatever. Ciao, mamba. Paul Smith's definitely. That's not a color To varying degrees of musical success. See, I never got black. I never got black. Controversial. Why did they change it? I only it? got green and yellow. The old. My name is Marco. I sing this event. It's called Naives. We're from London. I'm from the forest. We are animals. <laughs> we are animals. I'm Katie, I sing in the night and I do percussion. <laughs> I'm La Boy. What's your name? Uh, Manny, the drummer. Oh, nice to and, meet you. Uh, I recently joined the band three weeks ago. How are you, Phil? Three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. How's it, how's it going so far? Hectic man. Yeah. That's, that's a live reference. I joined there. and they're like, you have a gig in three days, man. Wow. Just go ahead. Yeah, I was like, getting forward. Yeah. I never used electronic stuff before. I don't know. We all come from different situations. We, I come from Italy. A lover is a mate from Italy. We, um, we met and we decided to bring this project. And then we got this guy from France and this lady from England. So we're kind of a, um, a mixed culture. Um, and that's basically what the music is about. Big mess, I guess. Well, it started with with me and love, some few ideas, and then we jumped together. And Ellie joined the band. All, all the stuff was pretty done at the time. So. Yeah, easy ride for me. <laughs> I don't have to do anything yet. <laughs> but okay. yeah, but, yeah, that, that's basically what we we tend to do is jump. We're a collective, and so yeah. all the influences are working. In the, in I think we all like electronic music. Really, that's yeah. that's yeah. where we come together. Yeah. Yeah. I we think that's a common point. We think the music is like really like the jungle, where you can find all sorts of animals, all sorts of influence, all sorts of Vibes. stuff. Sounds, Vibes, yeah. sounds. Yeah.
My production, because I do more of the production side of it and like the, the music underneath, so and Emma was more of the, the kind of like lyric, the person who bring lyrics, so it's kind of um, merged more equally since then, but at the beginning, so hard vocals with my music suddenly kind of made the sound that we thought was worth running with. So. It's constantly developing as well, as we're kind of, you know, writing more and more, everything is developing more, writing more for music and more for lyrics, like bunching it together. I think it's just making it more interactive so the viewer going onto the page kind of wanted, really feeling like they were almost controlling the video. And what they did, yeah, they met in uni and they were like six friends and then they've kind of grown up and it's insane what they can do. Yeah, so they came up with it and it's kind of like exciting about ways of using digital media to kind of interact more with, see that something like that is new as that. Yeah. So it was kind of exciting to do that and obviously we had four, the four tracks playing at once so it was kind of a good way to do it. It's a good way to show all four songs in one. The EP is really funny actually because one of the songs is one of the latest songs we've written and one of the other songs is the first song we ever wrote. So Homebound which is on the EP we wrote three years ago didn't we? Yeah, it was like a, it was like a um, song before we were Paper Bulls kind of thing. Yeah. It just kind of stayed with us. Um, and then Happier we wrote this year. And it's got, we, we worked with Future Cut a lot, really close to Future Cut and Pete Martin, we worked with as well on the CD. Um, together really quickly earlier on it kind of changing did. colours did yeah it was really funny because we we had these four chords which we love changing colours yeah. and we had them for like two months and we just couldn't we couldn't like nail down a song we went off to the Cotswolds last November for two weeks to kind of just write and hone down our writing just have some time away from the city and it was like five in the morning wasn't it and it just changing colours just all came together like in about an hour so some some songs like have we been working on for about I mean they've been They've been there for ages, and then other songs kind of come quicker. 
Yeah. So it's kind of a funny process. You know? But the way we, we wanted to kind of make build was showing kind of different sides of ourselves. And because when you <clears throat> work on something for that long and you start to get feedback like that, it can be a bit. You have to hold your nerve through it anyway because we, we we like it obviously, but then obviously how other people see it and how they take it, you never really never really sure how it's going to go. So, you do but you kind of build think... yourself up to be like, well, if it's shit, then we won't give a shit. But secretly, when you go to open it, you are like, ah, or obviously or whatever. you do care, especially if like you've worked really hard today because you put your heart and soul into it. And we've been writing. I mean, we've been writing together for three years. So obviously, when when something's put out there, you, you, you're basically really vulnerable. You're putting it out there, so you do care what people think. We still love it regardless. Yeah. But you do care what other people think. Um, but we've got really good, like, so far. <laughs> people have received it. You get a bunch of ones. I'll say that, yeah. It's gonna be like Bang! zero. And you've your your relationship with FFRR records, and that's yeah, that's something I find quite interesting. Like how how did that? I mean, that was really exciting because um, he came, Pete Tong, who's yeah. kind of reinstating the the label and everything, came to see us last year a couple of times, one of which was in a rehearsal, which was quite an odd experience because he's a bit of a, like, a hero of mine growing up with this kind of... I used to listen to a hell of a lot of his dance records and stuff and all of a sudden I was kind of, we were doing a 25 minute rehearsal in front of him. Just kind of him and our manager. Yeah, weird. And then yeah, he came to see us. No, that? not really, not really. Like kind of more just like, yeah, just yeah, I really like it. And then, and then. In a rehearsal, you're not exactly going to be rocking out. You know what I mean? Like there's the two then of then us if, in this rehearsal room. So. But he's also that kind of person that will take that time to kind of like really think about it. And then he came to see us in more of a natural performance environment, like like, like a few live gigs. Um, and then we kind of, and then it kind of went from there. So that's been really, really awesome as well in terms of kind of his passion and input and things like that. It's been Next plan is to do a release in the awesome. Have you got many other songs recorded and ready waiting to? Yeah, we do. We do have a few, but I'm <laughs> keeping everything a bit under wraps just now. But we do. Keeping it all under cover, yeah.
Tom. I'm Sam and uh, we're in Cloudwood. We live sort of live near each, other, near each other when we were kids. We played in bands uh, when we were younger, like rock to bands varying and degrees of success. musical success and enjoyment. And we both went to different universities, and then when we came back, we decided to make music together. Well, I was, I was pretty late in discovering electronic music as a whole. Really, uh, I wasn't there was there wasn't a thriving scene where I was at you know at a bar, and there wasn't really any of it around. And then when like, Sam sort of introduced me to to, to dubstep and, and stuff, and it wasn't really a merging of two different genres. It was just that I I could I could sing and play guitar. I think it was just making music like without like being like we want a drummer, two guitars, bass. Just like, by, just yeah, just yeah, being yeah. like let's try everything and see what happens. We've done the band thing, I think, as well, like, which is a big yeah. thing. Like we've we done that, we didn't we didn't need to do it again. It's, yeah, I think I think it's good to not have a like a set process because that's when like things uh, stagnant. Become, yeah, stagnant. And um, I think like to try and approach tracks from different places, like whether the vocal prompts the rest of it, or whether it's a beat, or whether it's a guitar part. Or, Received really well. It's surreal. Yeah, it was. It was. It was we never really. We definitely never expected it to come out with RNS. Yeah, it was kind of. We just sent the tracks over because like Dan was a friend and he was. Oh, I'll put these out. Like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> but um, see, so yeah, I think yeah. We're doing some festivals this month. We've got a couple in Germany, one in Lithuania, one in Switzerland. Uh, and we're gonna write some. We haven't written. We haven't had a good writing period for a while. Yeah. Uh, we've got a load of music um, that we have written and recorded that sounded really great that we're gonna do stuff with. There's a lot kind of ready. It's just finding finding the right outlet and the right way of putting it together. Yeah. There's, there's things on the way. Uh, this next song's called Lines on the Beach. Maybe some of you know.
Thank you.